Hello, it's Huga Health. Now, is red light therapy beneficial for the eyes? Is it bad for the eyes? Should you wear eye protection? There are so many questions in regards to red light therapy and your eyes because they're very important. We hope we can educate you to make the best decision for you and your health journey. Our eyes are power hungry. They use more energy than most other parts of our body, which means they need a lot of support to stay healthy. In theory, Red light works like a power up for our eye cells, helping them recharge and do their job better. Researchers like those at the University College London and various clinical trials have found that just a few minutes of red light therapy can have significant benefits. We're talking improvements for people with conditions like age-related macular degeneration or AMD, dry eye, or even glaucoma. Plus, it's not just for those with serious conditions. Even healthy eyes can see benefits, like better color vision and contrast sensitivity. Studies have shown that when used properly, red light therapy poses minimal risk to the eyes. However, when it comes to infrared or blue light, that's where you need to be a little bit more cautious. Our devices do not have blue light, and our near-infrared is under the point of concern, which is a 1400 nanometer wavelength, while our device's highest wavelength is 850 nanometers. The studies are finding that red light is preferential to near-infrared for eye health, so if you are only looking to treat your eyes, then you only need to switch on the red light setting on our devices. The near-infrared can stay off for this. More research is still needed though. Because red light therapy is a neuroscientific finding, new studies and new results are always coming out, and we try our best to keep you up to date. Now what should you do? Feel it out. If you have the device on with closed eyes and it's uncomfortable, or you're worried it could harm your eyes, wear eye protection. Our panels come with these goggles, or we sell more comfortable light blocking glasses, kind of like these. If you're comfortable with your eyes closed, then keep them closed. If you wanna test out exposing your eyes, we recommend starting with short sessions at least two to three feet away from your panel, looking past and around your device while moving your eyes, and then looking in the panel when your eyes are used to it. Again, use only red light and be two to three feet away when your eyes are open. Some see great results when they have their eyes closed during their regular treatments too. Please note that we are not medical professionals, so please consult with your healthcare professional when it comes to starting your red light therapy treatments for you. We hope this helps. If you like what you see, please give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ask any questions you have in the comments and let us know if you have any videos you'd like to see us make. Happy healing.